What's going on everyone? Welcome to a very special video today. We have a sealed box, as you can see, of Darkness Ablaze. Um, this is probably the set that uh, Tiff and I have opened the most of in paper. And we got a really good deal on it from our LGS and figured, hey, might as well make content with it. Why not? So... Um, what better way than to just open it on camera? So, um, I'm not going to be opening it. Tiff is actually going to fill in, but yeah, so figured I'd, I'd be the face of the video for intro just to get her in and, uh, start opening stuff up and yeah, Carl's going to send it over to pack number one, I guess, or, you know, whatever he's going to do. He'll make it look good. Hi everyone, as Carter said, I am Tiffany. Um, those of you who are on the Little Root Lessons uh, Discord, you may know me as Shaybird. Um, I am Carter's better half, arguably. And we're going to open some wonderful packs today. This is kind of my first time doing this, so hopefully I don't mess it up. Um, hopefully Carl doesn't have to put in too many whooper signs. Um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to... Like he said, this is completely sealed, so I have a little metal tool here. We're going to just open it up. Try not to cut anything. I had a trash can, and now it's gone. <laughs> Removing all of my good stuff. That's fine. We'll just I'm grabbing it. a trash can. I guess I'll wait. All right, cool. I stopped, so that way you could grab your trash. No, you can, you can do your thing. It's fine. It's impromptu. <sighs> okay. Are you good now? Yeah, I'm, I've been fine. Okay. All right, so I'm just looking at the box here. I love all of the different art styles that they've come up with. Um, Carter and I have a lot of fun at our local um, local shop here. Uh, it's Forever Twin or Forever Ten with Bob and Amy. And my favorite is to go through and pull out all the Charizards because obviously that's going to be the best ones, right? So we'll just start with Charizard first. Um, I have a lot of issues opening these. I'm glad I have nails. All right, one Charizard down. Now, Carter has taught me to take the top four and put them on the bottom. So that way it starts a normal progression. So we're just going to flip. And looks like we're starting with a fighting energy. You want to? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> A Relicanth. So these these should be all the uncommons. Uncommons should be first, and then commons. Yellhorn. And then we have our Rev Hollow. Ursa Ring. Larvitar. Yeah, I believe this is the commons. Nicket. Bonsweet. Snuggle. Meltan. Oh, and Toxapex. I love this style of Rev Hollow. I love how they've done this. It's just, it's really pretty. And our uncommon is Talon Blade. Rare. Oh, sorry. Rare. Yeah, uncommons are up front. And then your Rev Hollow and your Rare are the last two cards. Okay. So I don't know if you guys got to see that Talon Flame, but it's really really pretty i was gonna say it's not really focusing now yeah that looks fine okay. that looks great so now we're gonna move on to this guy i actually don't know which pokemon this is i am from the original generation of 151 so uh plus whooper because you can't you know forget whooper uh i believe that's uh, the v max eternatus on the art We 
have the white top card. I love seeing those. It makes me feel like I'm going to get something pretty awesome. Well, you know, they, they actually signify something. I did um, not know that, actually. Yeah, so um, your your talent flame, if you notice, is not hollow. Whereas on the white cards, to balance out the weight of the packs, they actually are lighter than the green cards because the hollows weigh more. Okay, learn something new every day. Yep. All right, so we're going to start with fire energy. And I'm going to keep doing these upside down. Uh, Rose Tower. Simiseer. And if I butcher these names, I am so sorry. It's all right. It's Pokemon. You can pronounce it however you want. <laughs> Laren. Uh, Galarian Mr. Mime. Guy's a little creepy looking, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, Grimer. Clink. Skitty, one of the most adorable ones ever. Pansage, also absolutely adorable. Then we have a Rev Hollow Gothitelle. Um, I'm going to try and get that Rev Hollow in here. And the psychic ones, I just feel, are the prettiest ones because they go kind of like a blue when you do the, like the reflection on them and then oh i love seeing that okay so we have a galarian stunfisk v yeah. and that's a nice looking card v number one on the board that is a very nice looking card i'm trying to keep these separate yeah once you oh, once you get them opened you want to yeah, throw your rares and yeah, there we go. And then we can grab the penny sleeves. I'll let you be in charge of that. Grab the penny sleeves and we can throw the the V's in those. I was gonna say we didn't get a Darkness of Blaze ETB, or else we would have sleeves from that. I actually um, don't know if there is an ETB for this set. Really. That would be I why think, we didn't get one. I think the ETBs are only for, like, special sets, such as the Champion's Path and the um, Shining Fates. Which, if we can get more Shining Fates in, we'll probably open that here, too. All right. We have Energy. By Brava. Let me try and get it closer for you guys here. Corva Squire. Rose, another Nicket, Bond Sweet. I feel like that's Bound Sweet, not Bond Sweet, but that could yeah, just be me. It's, it's all Pokemon. Just name it. So pronounce it however you want. Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby. I really like this art. It's a little trippy, but that's all right. And we have a Rev Hollow Purloin. Um, these dark ones. I, these are actually my least favorite. I was telling Carter, I don't feel like they stand out as much as the others, but that's just my personal opinion. And a local Rona for our rare. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Still doesn't quite beat that uh, Galarian Stunfisk. Sorry, we got 30 something more packs to open. Oh, goodness. This is going to take forever. Got all the time in the world. Where are you throwing your pack cards? Over here. Cool. I'm coming over here. And I'm going to grab them. Okay, we have a green top. I don't know if you guys saw that, but green top. So that's going to be fun. Uh, that means we don't get whatever the other hollow part is, which is fine. Apparently, I'm going to try and sneak some of these cards in. Okay, so we start off with our energy, of course. A very bright Dedenne. Bird Keeper. Soul Rock. One of the worst oh, God, ideas that they have ever had is putting this crochet art on things. Like, I like the crochet things. Like, I, I think that it's a cool thing because you can... Like, have personalized Pokemon. Because someone obviously spent time making it, but... 
at the same time. On card art, when you're comparing it to the other art that this game has, it's, it's just it's, not as cool. And they don't. They don't. Ooh. Look so we start off with a Galarian Darmaka, and go straight into a Rev Hollow Galarian Darmanitan. I believe that's a rare. I'm trying to get it in the light here so you guys can see. Uh, it's just showing up really shiny, um, just because that blue's picking up that light really, really well. But it is really pretty. And then everyone's favorite fat squirrel, Greedent. I love how he is our rare. I've never in my life thought a squirrel would beat out all of the other cards for rares. I'm pretty sure that Darmanitan is a rare as well. I think. Did I get lucky and get two or three? Yeah, it would be at most. Yeah. Well, we try. Ooh, got a white card. Excited what we like for seeing. that. Okay, so we're going to throw that over here. Flip our cards here. You know, this almost looks shiny or hollow. I always say shiny. I'm used to saying shiny. I'm in the process of teaching myself that it is hollow versus rev hollow and not shiny. But this almost looks on like it. <laughs> almost looks like it, but it is not. It is just a simple electric energy. And we have Cling, Simisage. Billowing smoke. Do you know, I really like this background um, with this kind of uh, galaxy theme. Uh, that's just the whole vibe. Love it. Panseer, another very cute little monkey th creature. Mareep. Snubble, again. That's going to be our second or third snubble at this point. Tauros and our Rev Hollow Vanillite. That's a pretty card. You can see that picks up that blue a little bit better from this angle. Oh, we have a Butterfree V. It's also very pretty. Um, let me spin that for you guys just so you can see that light pick it up. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's a good one. I think we're actually missing this one. Yeah. Because we... we've opened a lot, but we have not opened this guy yet. So this is this is pretty cool for us. I used to not be into all of the nerd stuff, as I will say. And Carter really changed my mind when we Embraced went to... nerd culture. Where was it? Was it Cincinnati? Cincy uh, no, or we, Indy? Went to, we went to Indy. We went to Indy. For a magic tournament. It, yeah, it was actually for magic. And just seeing the culture that surrounds this and how everybody is super inviting and really awesome. And then experiencing it on a Pokemon level and it being even more so, it completely changed my mind forever. So now I am currently getting all, well, trying to get all of the arts for all of Sword and Shield, base yeah. set and on. So we're starting off with a green. That's okay. We'll see what we got here. And yeah, there's no, there's no amazing rares in this set. Oh, those amazing rares are so, so pretty. pretty. So pretty. So so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna flip it here. We have another fighting energy. I actually really like this energy style. Um, we had here. I'll show you guys one of the others. Like we have a whole stack of them here. So this is from one of the other previous sets that I also like. I think that's Unified Minds, which... It looks kind of like metallic, like a metal back. I really like it. But um, if I was to compare the two, I would say this with the swoosh is, is my favorite. So we have another Rose Tower. A Stinny. I'm guessing that comes from Bond Suite. Oh, yeah. It does. Yep. Ha ha. Looky there. Another Dedenny. Um, again, really cute, bright background. Love it. Jigglypuff in a field of flowers. Wouldn't change a thing. Ducklet, adorable. Beautiful shiny, too. I feel like I've opened just a pack of adorable at this point. Um, Carablast. Mm -hmm. 
Not, not so adorable. Yeah, not so adorable. I spoke too soon. Galarian Darumaka. Okay. So that's our second one of these guys. Um, I don't really... I haven't really seen a whole lot of those. So I'm not really sure how they play or if they're any good. But again, I don't open these to play. I just open them to collect. All right. So then we have a Lavatar. And a reverse hollow relicanth. Let me get that closer for you guys. Again, you can see that background really pick really, up that light. Really pretty. And then a Mimikyu, which I love. Mimikyu is super cute. I don't think anybody could hate Mimikyu. And if you can, there's something wrong with you. All right, we have another Charizard art. Again, like I said, these are my absolute favorite. I just feel like they're more special. And, of course, there's no correlation whatsoever. But if you're going to give me cards to open, these are the ones I always steal. From Carter, at least. That way he can't open them. Cause... Oh, and look, see? My luck pans out again. We have another white card. So here's our four putting them over we're starting with fire and did I pull one nope okay just one all right so we have a peers a powerful energy these are really pretty um I haven't really done too much with like looking into the playability again of these but these energies the powerful energy and I think there's two more they are just really nice looking cards I know, I think it's uh, Vivid has more of those as well. I know there's like a fighting one and a grass one. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a few and they're they're all really pretty, especially the, the Rev Hollows of them are beautiful. All right, so then we're going to go into Toxapex. He just looks really angry. That's probably why his name is Toxapex. Everyone's favorite teddy bear, Teddy Ursa. I have a funny story about this particular Pokemon that you guys will have to bug Carter about in Discord. I hate Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring for no other reason than Pokemon Go. So again, bug him about that story. Pansier, again, our little fire monkey. Morellu. So I'm guessing this is based off of a Morel mushroom. Eh, I can see it. Oh, Wishy-washy. Kind of like me. Wishy washy. Q font. Um, I really like this little guy. He's adorable. Um, elephants are just super cute. We have a reverse hollow hydragon. Again, it's that. That's, a, that's another rare. I don't think we had one. That's that dark. I mean, I just. I don't think it pops as well as the other ones, but it's still very, very nice. Wouldn't trade it. And we have a hollow Kangaskhan. So let me see if I can pick up all of that light in there. You guys can kind of see it. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Is this Scentiscorch? Yes. Okay. That is, in fact, a Scentiscorch. Scentiscorch. That's the Scentiscorch VMAX art. Oh, VMAX. Okay. You see how often I play. I just like opening the card. We're starting off with green, which is perfectly fine. We're getting a good mix of green and white cards. I think that's that's good for a box. You don't want too many, because then that means somebody else is getting all of the other. All right, so we're gonna start off with, is this metal or steel? Technically metal. Okay, so metal energy. We haven't had one of those. Um, I think it's pretty. I would love to see this in a hollow uh, looking at you champions path we have a vanillish shinotic 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 is how i say it shinotic okay ursa ring again that just a reminder ask carter about that story it's really funny panpour 
spin a rack. Another bond suite. So this must be super, super common because this is, I think we've gotten one out of at least half the packs we've opened. Dunsparce. Electric. Ooh, a reverse foil, reverse hollow. Pan stage. Um, that green picks up really nice. It's really pretty in that. There you go. That's that's a good good shot of that. And then we have a rare clink clang. It's not hollow or anything, but that's okay. Um, I still think the art's really pretty. I I mean I think all of them are really pretty, so you'll probably hear me say that a lot. What's going to be really fun is later when I get to organize all of these and put them in our book. All right, Charizard, you haven't failed me yet. Let's see what you got for me. Oh, and again, another white out of Charizard. I'm telling you guys. That's 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 how I get so many good ones. It's all the you got to go with Charizard. All right. Again, I open them upside down. <laughs> all right. So we have our water here. We're gonna go with Struggle Gloves. Clang. See if I can get that a little bit more in focus for you guys. Dartrix, Shelmet, Panpour. Oh, look at him. He's got a little rainbow. That's adorable. Teddy Ursa. Oh, man. Rook a D. Torchic, everyone's favorite little fire chicken. And a reverse hollow Starly. These, uh, I think, are my second least favorite, actually, compared to the other ones. Um... Sometimes they end up really pretty, and sometimes I can barely tell that they're reverse hollow. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting weird cards, but you can tell there. It's really nice. Um, I like the sheen on it. And then we have a hollow Dracovish. That's a new one. That is a new one. We do not have a Dracovish. We actually don't have very many hollow cards in general. We do There's have a reason. lot of reverse hollow Obviously, but not too many hollow. I think we have like two ho uh, hollow Rillabooms, but you know, there's a there's a full art shiny Rillaboom in this set. I'm just hoping. What is the big one that we want out of this? Um, uh, it's the Charizard V Max. Oh, that's the uh, the regular one, not the shiny. Okay. Oh, that shiny though. Yeah, the shiny's from uh, Champions shiny Fates. Path. Oh, Champion's no. Path has the Charizard V and the Rainbow V Max. The other one I really like opening is Vivid Voltage because hello, fat Pikachu. Chonkachu. We all need more Chonkachu in our life. All right. Going back to a green there. I have another metal energy. I swear these look hollow, but they are not. They are completely normal. Flaffy. Uh, I don't think we've opened one of these yet. I actually don't think we have either. Which is weird because that's definitely a. What's the diamond signal? That's uncommon. Uncommon. Okay, so it's not super common, but that's all right. Ariados. Familiar Bell. Panpour. Teddy Ursa again. Rookadee. I think the last one was Teddy Ursa Rookadee. So that's that's kind of funny how that works out. A Torchic. We might have opened the same thing. A uh, Trap Inch again with that wonderfully aw awful art. And then a Reverse Hollow Shenotic. Uh, let's see if I can get it out of the light but still pick up the light. There we go. And for a rare, we are going with Swana. Is that a hollow Swana? No. Nope. nope, it's just a regular. So this Swana must be pretty awesome. All right. Um, 
this guy looks like spider not man but that's eternatus eternatus okay that's the ones that have the black and gold yeah in uh shining face ah oh, those are awesome too i would love to open one of those just to say i did amy at forever 10 she has probably the best luck i've ever seen if you ever want to find awesome cards go there because if they don't pull it, they somehow find it. Yeah, I know. They opened two ETBs of Shining Fates. Opened the uh, the the Shining Charizard. And then a, uh, I think the Eternatus VMAX. Yeah. She's just, she, her and Bob are both wonderful, wonderful people. We love doing business with them. Okay, so we're starting off with another green. Switching over to our four. Little darkness energy. It's really nice and pretty. Okay, so we have Carnivine. I have actually never in my life seen this Pokemon, and I've, I listen to a lot of the podcasts. And Oh, it's not good, that's why. I also don't think oh. it's in the Sword and Shield. Oh, well, that could be it. Yeah, that could definitely be it. Uh, big Parasol. Piers, that's our second Piers. Aaron. Cub Chew, everyone's favorite little sneezy teddy bear. Rowlet. Jigglypuff. Diglett. And a reverse hollow Parasect. Let's see if I can catch that. Gleam for you guys there. It picks it up a little. There we go. Really, really pretty card. Uh, the greens turn out really pretty. And a Wigglytuff. Not hollow or anything. Just a Wigglytuff. Regular old Wiggly. So he must be pretty cool, but he's just a Wigglytuff. We've opened up a few now, and we've only got two of the really hot ticket cards, so. If I remember correctly. I'm going to say the luck is in the rest of our box. Um, don't quote me on this, but in my experience, um, on average, you open about one, like, one, like, rainbow or, uh, like, one rainbow per box or a full art trainer. And then, like, your your uh, golds are, like, one in two, one in three boxes. Unless we're doing it online. And then we open, like, 19. Of them. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to go again with another green. Uh, flip our four. Starting with our psychic here. We have another vanillish. Clang. Gotharita, Skitty, Pansage, Golette, I haven't seen that one yet, Vanillite, I think that means now we have the full line of these guys. Another Trap Inch, I tell you, when we opened, what was the one that we just got? Uh, Shining Fates? Shining Fates, I had at least 30 Trap Inch because it's the only... The fighting only fighting card. In, it's the only fighting card in that entire set. Oh, that sure. is a nice looking art for Hippowdon. Yeah, that's a sick art. This is also our reverse rare. Or, I'm sorry, reverse hollow. Uh, it might be a rare. Is it a star? I mean, um, it is a star, so it is yeah, It sick. is a rare. Sick. Um, that's very nice. I like that art. And then a Hydreigon. Yeah, which we got the uh, reverse of earlier, too. Yeah. So now we just need, I wonder if this has a uh, um, hollow as well. Because I have seen some of them where they will have the regular, the reverse hollow, and the hollow. Um, this set I don't think has that. I think you get rev and regular. You, you either get uh, hollow or non-hollow. I know back in like the olden days, you would get hollow and non-hollow but i think when they started adding in the the red hollows they did away with that 
so that you can get Rev Hollow or Rare. And if the Rare is um, Hollow, then you get Rev Hollow or Hollow. Okay, we're starting with another green. Okay. Fletch Ender. See if I can get that to focus a little bit more. Rare Fossil. Furret. Pansage. Tauros. Diglett. Squovet. Again, everyone's second favorite fat little squirrel. I love the fact that they put a squirrel in here. I just have all of the nonsensical type Pokemon and they put a squirrel as a Pokemon. Just makes me giggle. All right, Shelmet, Reverse Hollow Heat Energy. Like I said, guys, when I mentioned this earlier, these are really pretty. Um, I don't know if these have a full art. I feel like they I might. I don't think so, actually. Oh, okay, well, I could be wrong. Probably am, because he's the expert, not me. Okay, I'm no expert. And then we have a Melmetal. It's a really nice Melmetal. Um, yes, and that one is also rare. All right, Charizard, don't fail me. We've had a couple greens in a row. Ha! Charizard did us good. Thank you, Charizard. Come All right, on. starting with white. All right, another dark energy. Soul Rock. Kabu, Kabu. 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 I say Kabu. Okay, Simisage. Dunsparce. Electric, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Grimer, Clink, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Bunnelby. Again, with that really trippy art, I love it. Not so much a fan of this particular part, but this art is really nice. And a, oh, a Hollow T-Tar. Oh, that's, oh, that's sick looking. That is a nice That's detail. real cool looking. I really like the art on that. He looks he looks fierce. He looks like he is ready to kick some butt. Yeah, that's, that's super cool. All right. I don't remember what this guy is. Let me see. I feel like it's... That is Grimmsnarl. That's what I was thinking. Because I feel like you have Grimmsnarl. played Grimmsnarl. Or I have watched people play Grimmsnarl. A lot of the times when Carter is making content for the channel, I will be either in here because we split our office. So I will either be in here goofing off on my side or making faces at him, which is really funny because it's really hard for him to concentrate. All right. So we're starting with another white. I love those. I mean, who doesn't? We have a green energy. Grass Energy, Relicanth, Zoilus. I think that gives us all of Dino or Dino's mm -hmm. um, evolutions now. Familiar Bell, another Wishy Washy, Pan Sage, Tauros. Might be our fourth or fifth Tauros at this point. Another Diglett, Squovit. A, is this our second reverse hollow rose tower? Maybe. What? Here, look through this and see if I... <gasps> and, oh, Ooh. this is nice. Send a Scorch VMAX. That has got such a pretty color on it. Uh, that, ah, uh, they're so shiny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's really good looking. That is nice. I don't even want to hold it too tight. Yeah, that's, those... that's another new one. Um, I have some over here. Okay, cool. Cause I oh, they're right here in front of me. Oh, good job. Was that the second one? No, actually. Oh, cool. 
So we have the first one then of Rose Tower. And I think I pulled that one away kind of fast. So we'll just show you both of those here again. Um, yeah, that, just that to get that sports is good looking. Just to get that shine in there. But we're going to definitely put him in the in the sleeve here. Move all of these out of our way here. Clean up our our space a little bit. It's a good thing no one decided to do ASMR with these because, gosh, I can only imagine that how loud it would be. Ah, open. I have nails for a reason. Maybe not. There it goes. Okay, and the reveal is another green. I need to stop opening those upside down. Okay. Starting with our energy. Starav Staravia? Staravia. Staravia, okay. Shenotic. There's another Flaffy. Carablast. Meltan. Marini, that's a new one. That's pretty. That is really nice. I like the, the bright mm -hmm. colors in the background there. Purloin. Not just a sassy cat. Starly. Uh, this is a reverse hollow Golisopod. Golisopod? Golisopod. Golisopod. And just to pick up that light there, if you guys can see. There it goes. Oh, so shiny. I know it's not shiny, but it's very pretty. And then we have an Arctivish. Regular Arctovish? Regular Arctovish. It, okay, so they have foiled Dracovish and foiled Dracozolt, but no foiled... They may have foil. It just may not Maybe, be. I don't know. Okay, Charizard. I don't know how many Charizards we've opened at this point, but... Well, technically zero Charizards. I mean, well, <laughs> I don't know how many Charizard pack art we've opened at this point. I think only one has been green. <sighs> Charizard, Charizard does not do me wrong. Okay. I think only one has been green. Okay, oh, second well, green one. I That's... don't know why I said anything. <sighs> Carter, you jinxed us. That's okay. We're still going to do great. Doug Trio. This is nice. This is, I think, the I think that's our first, first Doug Trio yeah. that we've opened. We've opened a lot of Diglets, not so many Doug Trios. Billowing Smoke, a Heat Energy, a Fletchling. This is a super cute little bird. Galarian Mr. Mime, Torchic. Everyone's favorite teriyaki nugget. <laughs> Aaron, 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 Rookady. And, oh, well, look, we've opened so many of these wishy-washies, we are going to get a reverse hollow wishy-washy. And another Volcarona. So this is our second Volcarona. So this is our first repeat of Rare. Telling you, these things need a pull tab. Or I need longer nails, one of the two. Ah, oh, we have a white card now. Woot woot. That will be awesome. That's hopefully, really, really good. There for a while when we were opening packs online and we would get the two upside down, one of them would always be Fortress. And oh, it drove me crazy. 
that's a uh, that's vivid. Yeah, vivid, vivid. Yeah. Oh, they do you dirty and then they do you well. All right, so then we are starting with our energy as normal. Staravia, Staravia. I don't know how I'm gonna say it. I'll change it up five or six more times before we're done. Pupitar, Zuelas, Galarian, Mister Mime. Another Torchic. Man, we are going to have a full base set of Torchic. Not base set. What's it called when you have all four of them? Place set. Place set. There we go. Aaron, Rookady, another Wishy Washy. And we have a Reverse Hollow Tapu Coco. Cool. I, Sick. I've learned that these are legendary birds. Is that right? They are Guardian, Island Guardians. Deities. Okay, so but they're legendary. They're Correct. considered legendary. So I grew up with the, the big three legendary, but this one's pretty cool. Oh, this is so great. This oh, is Oh, just casual a... full art sizzle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not even gonna acknowledge it. <laughs> I was so worried about the pretty bird <laughs> that I missed <laughs> this gorgeous thing. Alright, so we have a full art scissor. V. Just to pick up some of those extra lines in there of that really pretty, just really great, great foiling. Yeah, that's that's sick. So that's so pretty. Definitely goes into a protector sleeve. I think I think that Tapu Coco is a rare too. So uh, Rev Hollow rare into. Full art V is pretty Let's sick. Let's see. Star is rare? Yep. Yes. So that does have the little star symbol. Yeah, that's sick. Neat. Okay, we are... I think we're about halfway done. Yep, we are halfway through. We've opened a good amount. Um, definitely nothing to scoff at. I'm holding out hope for this second half here. Really looking for one of those that just blows your mind, you know? Rillaboom would be sick. Um, well, it's not going to be in this one. Well, we have another green. That's okay. That was a five. I don't know. We'll find out. Ah, nope. We did it right. Okay. So we have Bird Keeper. Soul Rock. Relicanth, Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer. Oh, that's gorgeous. I was just dogging on this art and this background for this Rev Hollow, but I love this on this card. So this is a Rev Hollow Fletchling. And it looks really, really great, especially with this background and this particular hollow. I don't know. There you go. Oh, look at that. So pretty. And then a Vanillux. It's a I think, little... I think that's the full line of that, too. Yep, that is the full line of those. Oh, I think I'm going to make him put all of these away later. I don't want to do all that. I usually, I'm really busy. Usually I'm the one that does all of the organizing because that's, like, my favorite thing. So, see, why would I want to deny it from you? It's your favorite thing. But now I'm going to make him do it. All right. Charizard. Oh, and another white one. Thank woot you. Woot. We are on our streak here. Four. Starting with Lunatone. Um, I don't really have a lot about this one. I've never really seen this one in a lot of play, so. There's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Staravia. Pupitar. Sinistee. Little teacup. Feebass. The fish that wishes he could. Pisimian. Fletchling. Wimpod. I actually have not seen this card yet. Um. We've done a lot of looking, but I've not seen this card. And then we have a reverse hollow Paris. Get 
that nice coloration in there. Oh, and then we have a hollow Corviknight. I love the way that they did this hollow, this style. Going for the next one. So Carter, if you could tell everybody, what is your favorite, like non-obvious card? Because I know everyone loves Charizard. Um, Blaziken is my favorite Pokemon. I'm in the process of picking up literally every Blaziken card ever printed. So hey, if you have extras and you're not doing anything with them, you should uh, DM me on Discord and let me know, and we can figure something out. All right. So we are going to go into a white bag card. Love these. All right. Let me adjust here so that way you guys can see a little better. We've got Clang, Dartrix. To Denny, Electric, Dino, Passamian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, and I believe this is our second Rev Hollow Powerful Energy. So that no, I know we had the the Heat Energy. I don't know. At this point, I've lost count of how many rep hollows we've had. That's the joy of opening an entire box. Okay, so we'll get some of that coloration in there. Ooh! I'm so excited for this one. This is a Salamence V Max, but this is a super special one because this is all rainbow fight. I don't know what that means. That is a rainbow rare. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's super self explanatory then. Yeah, so your orders of your. V's, you have the regular ones like your your uh, Glaring Sunfisk. Oh, that's And then you have gorgeous. your Full Arts like your Scizor. And then you have your Rainbows like the Salamence. That is a super, super pretty card. Yeah, that's that's a dang good one. Uh, I think that's the like most expensive Rainbow Ram in the set. Oh, well then. Yeah, so that's kind of sick. feel pretty pretty good about that one. told you guys I felt really good about the second half. Ah, and I jinxed it. All right, we're back to a green. Look, not every not every pack can be a banger. All right. We're starting with Cape of Toughness. Everybody could use a little extra toughness sometimes. There we go. By Brava. Semiseer. Toxel, I just think he's adorable. Like, he probably is my second favorite behind Wooper. Wooper's hands down. But Toxel's pretty cute. Skitty. Rowlet. Wishy-washy. We were getting a lot of wishy-washy through this. Q-Font. And then we have a reverse hollow carnivine. Just to get some of that background color in there. There we go. Very nice. Very pretty. And then we have a Star Raptor. It's not hollow or anything, but it is still very, very, very nice. Um, it's always nice when you, you know that it's rare because, you know, they have their little symbols on there. I, of course, wouldn't know any different. I just look for the shiny things. might have used up all my luck on that Salamence. I don't know, guys. Starting with Zuelus, Familiar Bell, 
Struggle Gloves, Mary, Snubble, Tauros, Rickety, Galarian Mr. Mime, Rev Hollow Flaffy. So this is kind of nice because we did get two of the regular Flaffies earlier. So having that nice shimmery one is going to be awesome. And then we have the regular Hip Out On. So we got the reverse hollow hip out on earlier. So now we have this guy. And that's kind of more of a close up of that art style from earlier that I was saying was so kick butt. All right, Charizard, I'm counting on you. This one's definitely gotta be something good. I can't even get it open. Yeah, and we have another white one. All right, we're going to start in with Laron, Parasect, Spike Muth, Purloin, Hippopotas. I think. Hippopotamus. 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 Sentry. Larvesta. Morellu. Oh, Carter's favorite. Oh, we that's have sick. A reverse foil Blaziken. That's sick. These red ones are they're kind of hard to pick up in the light because they reflect so much of it. So let me get this guy kind of close and see what we got here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that glean right there. Oh, that's wonderful. And I don't know if this one's any good. He's kind of cute though. He is a hollow pin curtain. So there's that good little guy. The Blaziken's the highlight of the box so far. I, I thought the Salamance was. No, 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 no. Not anymore. You have your priorities wrong. <laughs> Since he is a Blaziken, do you want to go ahead and put him in a sleeve? Yeah, sure. Why not? You talked me into it. I was going to say, because if anything happens to this card, it'll be my head. <laughs> Everyone has that one Pokemon that they just love for no reason. And for Carter, it's Blaziken. For me, it's Wooper. I'd, again, no reason. I have no idea. I just think he's adorable. Well, he's getting that put away. I'm going to go ahead and start the next one here. I feel like we could have streamlined this if I would have cut them open, but I do not want to accidentally cut cards. All right, one, two, three, four. I'm going to flip it here. Start, oh, we started with a green. My bad, I forgot to mention that. Starting with Billowing Smoke, Heat Energy, Relicanth, Morellu, Wishy Washy, Qfont, Dino, Pansier, and a Reverse Hollow Corviknight. And then we have a Lightbird. This is just a regular one. Um, I still think it's really pretty. I love this particular purple and yellow color together. I think it really pops on a card. And then, of course, you add this black background. Or, well, I guess it's more of a dark blue, but you add that background to it. And I just think it's a really nice looking card. Carter plays for fun. I play for the aesthetics. Goodness gracious, we have a white card. I'm excited for this one. Okay, we are going to start with a Pultigeist. I don't think we've had one of these yet, so this is pretty cool. Combuskin, 
Now we have the full line. Yeah, we, we have the important one, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> Glimwood Tangle. One of my favorite areas in Sword and Shield. I think I love, I just love what they've done with it. Um, one of the prettiest parts and watching him play. I don't really play a whole lot, but I like watching him play. All right, and then we have Bunnelby, again, with that really, really trippy art. Paris, Larvitar, Golet, Feebas, and look, we have another Larvitar. This one's Reverse Hollow. So we're gonna hold that up for you guys. Oh, that's a nice one, look at there. Another V, we have Vikavolt V. That one, look. That's, that's good looking. That's a dang good looking card. That yellow and blue together. Ugh. Whoever designed these knew what they were doing. Yeah, that's that's a good looking card. Apparently I can't get them in sleep, but that's okay. There we go. I still think nothing so far beats the uh, Rainbow Salamance. Did you miss the Blaziken? I, I'm not talking about the Blaziken. <laughs> that's all I care about. That's why we bought this. <laughs> for the Blaziken. We bought it for yeah. the Blaziken. Okay. You heard me, I could have bought it for a dollar. Or we could buy an entire box and have that. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Alright, so we are going to go with green card again. We have Rose. Rose. Is it Rose or Rose? Rose. Rose, okay. Rose, Vanillish, Poltergeist, Jigglypuff, Diglett, Panpour, Spinarak, Bound Sweet. Ooh, this one's another one of those really pretty energies. This is a reverse foil hiding energy. So, I'm try and pick up some of the light there for you guys. And then we have. Galarian Darmanitan. No hollow or anything like that on this one, but I mean, it's still a really nice looking card. And we'll go on to the next one. Alright, this is a good sign. We are starting with white. Okay, we have our strength here. By Brava. Simaseer. Lunatone. Starly. Skarmory. I think that's the first Skarmory? I think it is too, yeah. And sage. I'm casually like 20 some packs in at this point. <laughs> Electric. Fletchling. Oh, that's pretty. Dunsparce. That is a very nice one. Uh, I hated catching Dunsparce in Pokemon Go, but you know, this one doesn't seem so bad. And Darkrai. This is a hollow Darkrai. That's a good looking card. That is really, really nice. I do like how they've done this hollow. Back at it again with the Charizard. Charizard again. Let's see what we got him. Charizard did not do us any good this round, but that's okay. Maybe our rare in here is just going to like blow our minds. Okay. I keep thinking I've grabbed more than one. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go and start with Dedenny. We've had both the reverse hollow and I think the regular of these. So I think this is definitely a double. By Brava. Corvus Squire. Purloin. Starly. Aaron. Cub Chew. Rowlet. Reverse Foil Dug Trio. That's pretty. That is a very nice one. 
Um, again, it's that orangish color, so it's kind of hard to pick up the light without completely blinding you guys, but it is really nice. And Mimikyu. Sick. We do love our Mimikyus here. That's our second doubled up rare? Yes. Volcarona and the Mimikyu? Mm-hmm. That's all right, though. Yeah, it's all right. We go for four, and then after that we put them in a box. So having any more than four is a problem. Two is fine. All right, we have another white card. All right, we're starting with our four here. How come I can open them normal on one side and then the next one I open they're upside down? I have no look, idea. Look, don't look at me. I don't know. Parasect, Spike Muth. I want to go through these so fast just to get to that last one. <laughs> Cape of Toughness, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce. It's called Building Anticipation. I know. I'm already anticipated. <laughs> Clink. Marini. Again, I really like this art style. This blue and yeah, all this just, gold outline. It's oh, so it's super pretty. Another Torchic. We are going to have a whole... Whole box of Torchics. Yes. And Reverse Foil Lipard. So, a little bit of a letdown, I'm not going to lie. I saw the white card and I thought for sure we were going to have something just epic. Oh, wait, there's another. <laughs> Heatran. Yeah, you got your, uh, your foil. Oh, man. Yeah, that heat train's good looking. That, oh, that, all that red in there, and then that white pop. Oh, goodness, that's gorgeous. Yeah, really pretty. All right, guys, we're getting closer and closer to the end. We only have about, this is our last five. I believe. I definitely have faith, because, I mean, all in all, we've done really good. At least for what we've pulled previously, I mean, this is going to really help round out everything. I mean, I know that you guys can't see what we've pulled previously, but. Okay, we are going to go with another green. Another familiar bell. Rose Tower. Steeny. Toxel, Sinistee, Carablast, Meltan, another Marini. That's interesting. In the same back, pack? No, back to back. Oh, okay. Backs. No. If it was in the same pack, I might be calling Pokemon and say, hey, did you guys mess something up? I've done it with, with uh, rares. All right. And then we have a reverse hollow Selgor. Is that a rare? Uh, star? Yes. Yeah, sick. Yes, that is a very nice reverse hollow. And then a regular Dragazolt. So again, this is not rare or not hollow. It is rare, but it's not hollow. Um, this is really funny because you were mentioning earlier that some of them have... Yeah, so it, I get this Dracovish and Arctazolt. And then Draco, uh, Dracozolt and Arctovish don't have the foils. So that's kind of cool. They get it at opposites of Weird. Opposites of that one. Okay, we have a white one here. Wood Root? I'm going to show you guys that. So we are going to start with a Combuskin, Carter's second favorite, I'm sure, because he nah. loves that Blaziken. Blaziken is the best. Glimwood Tangle. That's really pretty. Larum. Larvesta. Hippopotas. Hippopotapus. Hippopotapus. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay. Golet. Skitty. Dino, a reverse hollow cub chew. Get that coloration in there. That's really nice. 
and I kind of saw it when I opened. So I'm really excited for this. I just know it's going to be something cool. Oh, that's it a good is. one. I saw the black border when I opened it on accident. So we have a Crobat V. Yeah, that's that's a probably one of the most playable cards in this set. Again, I don't follow for playability. I follow for the prettiness. But I digress. Okay, Charizard. Is this my last Charizard? This is, I, you know what? We have another pack on this side too. Right? Oh, I do. Look at there. I have a feeling we're going to save this Charizard for last. You guys just you listen to me on that one. I swear. It's probably going to be the big letdown, but I do enjoy my Charizard. Okay. So we have green here. Starting with old PC. I don't think we've had this one yet. I can say I haven't seen that card before. Ariados. Doug Trio. Golette. Vanillite. Trap Inch. Oh my gosh. Teddy Ursa. Panseer. Reverse Hollow Tauros. This is kind of nice because we did open quite a few of those Tauros earlier. So this is kind of nice to have the Reverse Hollow of that. And Ampharos. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. All right, so we're starting with another green one. Yellhorn. I feel like we've gotten so many of these, but that's probably because they're super common. Ursa Ring. Oh my goodness, <laughs> whatever. Poltegeist. Galarian Darumaka. Sentry. Rowlet, Squovet, Spinarak, Reverse Hollow Flygon. That's cool looking. It's a really nice, yeah, that's very real pretty. Good looking. And another Melmetal. So this will be our third repeat. This is another green one. I'm telling you guys, I saved that Charizard for a reason. I'm hoping you're right. I'm hoping that Charizard brings forth a Charizard. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Perfect way to end it. Okay, we have a Zuelus, Fletchender, Rare Fossil, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet. Mary Paris Reverse Hollow Girl Golurk. I apologize. Golurk. Again, that purple is just one of my favorites. I love how the like the how hollow looks. And Granbull, which this is a new one. We haven't seen this. We've got a lot of snubbles, but no Granbull, so this is kind of nice. This will be a nice one for the book. Alright, guys, are you ready? Last one. Here we go. Thank you guys for sticking with me. This is my first time ever doing any kind of content for these guys. I love to support them, but I love doing it behind the camera. So, um, not in front of. So let's see if my intuition paid off. Nope. Oh, oh dang. 
Those last four were all green ones. That's okay. We did really good. I'm sure this will still have something awesome in it. All right. Fur it. I think that's a new one. I don't know. I think we had one really, really early on. Flaffy. Ariados. Gothita. Skarmory. There's our second Skarmory. That's nice. Cub Chew. Wimpod. Bunnelby. Oh, look at it. It's a cute little reverse hollow Q font. Oh, that one's so pretty. Oh, it's really pretty. And then we have a Thievel. This is, this is our first Thievel. I think so. It's kind of nice. It's, I mean, getting a card that you haven't gotten before is still a good way to round it out. So, all right, guys, thank you for sitting through and letting me open an entire box of Darkness Ablaze with you. Um, Show off what we got. Okay, well, that was the whole video is me showing off what we got. But these are the really cool ones. So, again, that is the Galarian Stunfisk V. Show off all those pretty Vs. That's a gorgeous one. Butterfree V. Just ignore the crashing noises in the background. <laughs> Carter's not used to not, you know, being in the chair. Scorch. V. I really love the red and the orange here. V Max, right? Oh, yeah, V Max. My apologies. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's really pretty. It really is. I'm saving that other one for last. All right. Sizor V. Yeah, Again, full art Sizor is really pretty. That red and that yellow, I think it just really pops really well. It makes for a really good looking art. But then you come in with this purple crowbat and this background, this dark background with like the red splashes. Again, just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Then we have Thickavolt, which is not a Pokemon that I have ever really dealt with or seen a whole lot, but a blue and that yellow makes for just super, super gorgeous. And my favorite, Salamence VMAX Rainbow Rare. Look at that that is an so absolutely pretty. pretty card all right thank you guys so much